uh, you you work in Ukraine, yeah, and uh, I have one more question. What challenges do you see uh, for for journalists who who covers uh, current conflicts, including uh, the war in Ukraine, and what challenges and what approaches for this? Maybe, maybe we will show a short uh, clip of 90, about 90 seconds. Uh, it's about what I'm doing and what I'm experiencing in Ukraine. Explosii se aud lovituri de artilerie. Suntem la aproximat 3 km de liniile rusești. Auziți explozile aici în apropierea tranșeelor din zona Kupiansk, în regiunea Harkov. În fiecare minut se aud mai multe explozii. Artileria rusă atrage asupra pozițiilor ucrainene. Ați auzit încă o explozie, iar ucrainenii ripostează la rândul lor. Tocmai ați urmărit o lovitură de artilerie a ucrainenilor asupra pozițiilor rusești. Este un duel continuu de lovituri de artilerie. Chiar acum va fi lansată o tronă. Se aud explozii, tiruri de artilerie. So this is my life in uh, Ukraine, and um, I think that uh, we have to be aware every time when we think to Ukraine that every day there is a day about life and death, about a lot of uh, good people dying or be wounded, and um, it's important to have witnesses. It's important to have people from Ukraine and from outside, uh, from outside Ukraine to look at this, to capture this on photos, clips, uh, news and so on, articles, uh, and keep people all around the world aware about what's going on there, because a lot of good people die. And when we talk about these delays in providing uh, the necessary ammunition and necessary weapons to Ukraine, we have to know that every delay means more good people dying in Ukraine. Civilians and military, both of them. Um, I spoke with a lot of uh, soldiers, a lot of military people, uh, and they told me, we, we, can, we can beat the Russians, we can beat them, but we need the tools. Uh, and of course, I, I saw a lot of very inspiring moments um, when I talked with civilians, because there is a war in trenches, but there is a war behind the trenches. Civilians who are helping the army, who are trying to keep the economy alive, who are trying to help in any way Ukraine to, to go on and um, to continue to uh, fight against Russia. And for me as a journalist, um, and, uh, let me tell you that I had a very good cooperation with military in Kharkiv re region. Not so good in Kherson region, <laughs> but uh, in Kharkiv region um, they helped me a lot. And I think that if, if I take the risk, if I want to go to the trenches, the military should support the journalists who take the risks. This is one of my difficulties there. Uh, I didn't succeed every time to go where I wanted to go. Of course, I can understand that some places are very sensible or the fight is very tough there, but sometimes I expected more, more help. But in Kharkiv region, it was wonderful from a journalist perspective. In the same time, let me tell you that as a journalist, of course, you have to be faithful to the truth. You have to show the truth. But 
you have to be a responsible journalist. Uh, being faithful to the truth doesn't mean that you have to show everything. Sometimes you find some information that can be useful to Russians, to the Russians. You cannot publish it because it's a matter of life and, and death. Uh, that's why you, you have to be a responsible journalist and as a responsible journalist you always have to show the truth but you cannot show that information that may, might be useful to the Russians. And this is an issue for many journalists because it's important to understand what does this mean to be a responsible journalist. In the same time, I saw a lot of uh, public voices saying, oh yeah, as a journalist you have to be impartial. No. No. If you have some values, some democratic values, if you have some moral values, you cannot say that both sides are equally guilty or equally good. No, 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 no. Ukraine is a democratic country, Russia is a tyranny. Uh, Russia, Putin's Russia is the aggressor and Ukrainians are the defenders. So the moral uh, weight is on the Ukrainian side. You cannot say, yeah, I have to be impartial, so I will present the Russian position, 50% and 50% the Ukrainian position, because this, is, this means to be impartial as a journalist. No. You have to present 100% the truth, but in the same time, uh, you, you are not a robot, you are not, a, you are not an entity without values. You have to relate everything you publish with your values. And that's why you have to show the truth, but to say in the same time that that's the bad part and this is a good side of this war. Anyway, I should talk a lot about this. Next time, give me one hour. Uh, but I will let you hear.